So yeah, going back to the squad planner. Probably need to get another striker. I said two young strikers on my list here. Um, Amari Miller. What foot is he? He's right-footed, so maybe putting him on the right side is the best thing. So maybe we need a left winger. Um, I know we need another midfielder. Need a couple of midfielders, to be honest. Need a defender. I know we need that. We need a good center back. And then, obviously, a good goalkeeper. That's a lot to do. Slight favorites going into the next match. We can really play a lot of the players that need their playtime resolved now moving forward because since we've survived relegation, we really can look to keep people happy in case we want to re-sign their contracts and such. I need to check on my trials too. Yeah, we're getting ready to finish them and see if there's any of them that are worth signing. Peterborough out to clinch promotion. All right, so who do we have here? Will Andy Eppen. Let's compare him with Nick. He's better defending mentals and aerials. He's taller. He's wanted by 11 clubs. He's on a youth contract, too. With Tottenham. Hmm. He's consistent. Oh, wow. We want a salary between six... Uh, it, yeah, if he wants to be like a, uh, all right, so we'll try to get him. Uh, Yaziah Linton here. He's another right back. He's got good pace, great natural fitness. He's consistent. Hmm. I don't know if he's good enough like the other guy. I mean, he's got great determination and natural fitness, so he's going to develop. I may put him on the uh, youth players. Keep an eye on him. All right, we got Riley Owen here. He is a midfielder. Oh, no, he's, he's a left winger. That's kind of what we were looking for. He's not consistent. Good acceleration, good pace. At the age of 17... He may be one that I like just. Cozier Dewberry. He is a striker. 
He plays wings as well. He's not consistent. 17 as well. Amazing acceleration and pace. He definitely would have to develop. Natural fitness is a little low. I'm not too excited about him. Jimmy Gower. What do we got here, Jimmy? Uh, he's okay. Kovacevic. And this is that goalkeeper I was kind of interested in. He's injury prone. I wouldn't mind having him to develop since he's only 17, just so we have somebody that's like coming through the pipeline. His shot stopping is already better. He's 6'4", too. Communications and mentals is good. He's a little slow. Um, Ismail Ulad Mahand. Okay, natural fitness. He's consistent. Uh, let's compare him with Kirby. He'd have to develop quite a bit. He's got better vision. What's a really cheap... Uh, Salary. I'll make an offer of zero if they don't want any money for him. Tino Quimina. Sixteen acceleration. Injury prone though. Competitive streak. Yeah, can't take a gamble on that. And then we got Matthias Roberts. Good first touch. Uh, he's all right. I'm not going to go bonkers for him either. All right, he wants to be a breakthrough prospect. How about a future prospect? And he only wants one year. Okay. Let's see. Let's try two years. They really want those short contracts. Can't really do much about it. All right, let's get in here. We've got, there's no, I'm just going to try to get some of these people happy. Injured, injured, concerned. He's in there. Godzilla's in there, concerned. Harry Williams. Give him some play time. Just trying to uh, mix everybody up right now.
like I said, our goal this year was to survive. Go out there and survive this season, and we've done that. Block some O'Brien and Shipley up front. Leahy, Vassal, Bayless, and Bennett in the midfield. Nurse, Pennington, and Flanagan in the back line. And Morosi. Remember, we played him a lot. We are in the black uniforms today on the road. They will be in the blue and yellow stripes. The kits are coming right now. See if the Drakes can come out here and finish the season strong after surviving. Wet. John Busby is the referee. Only 4,700 in attendance here at Shrewsbury. Got a lot of, a lot, a lot of backups in today. That's a bumping for this one. Janelle Bennett's going to come out with it. Goes back to Williams. Williams goes back to Matt Robinson. Back to Hawkins. Kyle. They're really big on Hawkins or Hawkins. I'm not sure why. I don't know if I want to sign him yet or not. We'll think about it. In good lift out here. He'll go in the Reed. Reed doesn't get a lot of playing time. Janelle Bennett in the Janet Smith. Can Janet Smith score? No, he misses everything. His drought has been going on for about 10 games or more now. Oh, it was blocked. Shane Flynn to take this one. Swings it in, and it's Morosi's ball. Hmm. Jaden Smith. I may have to sell Jaden Smith after this season. He's just not played up to any caliber at the end. I know he's been developing, but he's just not scoring. I may actually. Hold on. He wants to be a complete forward. Let's let him be a complete forward. Let's see if that works. I don't think he's got the stats to play complete forward, but who knows? Their keeper just kicked one of their players in the back of the head, and somehow they kept the ball. That was kind of the greatest thing I've ever seen. But Bloxham's in, and I don't like this. And Tom Bloxham's going to get his seventh goal of the season, and Shrewsbury is going to go up 1-0 here in the 17th minute. And, uh, yeah, that is... Uh, not what I like to see. Was that Kyle Hawkins? Did let that through? It is. Yet they want to keep selling him, and I'll just. And then Williams, our other backup, let that one go. And demand more from him. Blame Mad Martin for this. It's obviously his fault that the team is not playing well. Free kick for us. Got to go over the top. Jaden Smith, he's going to go through. Jaden Smith pushes, takes a shot from nowhere. What is he doing? Disappointed! Let's work the ball in the box, please. Matt Martin's name has been changed to Matt. Matt Martin. They need that G Fuel sponsorship. We got the Prostate FC over here. We, what, what, what other things could you want? Nurse plays it over the top. Blocks him. He's been running over us all. Oh, my God. Blocks him. Gets a brace in the 32nd minute. Our back line. Ow. Good God. I just... Cut my hand open on my drawer. I'm so mad. I just, I chose violence. Oh my, he looked offside. Matt Martin. Mark Martin was a NASCAR driver. He used to drive the uh, Valvoline car and then the, uh, the Viagra car. 
My dad said he used to take it hard into the turns. <laughs> I think I just pissed off the team. Yeah, I totally hit the wrong button. What a much better display in the second half. Get you Mark Martin cars. Yeah, my dad was a big Mark Martin fan. All right, lads. Let's come out here in the second half and pretend like we know what we're doing. I know that a lot of you are playing and you're not. Great, but you've got to pretend. Hey, TK Bomber, how are you doing? Hello there. Yo, Kenobi. Over the top, blocks them again. There's no way that's onside. Oh my lord, Bloxham is tearing us up. I'm even like purposely like. Going to him hard. Push him to his weaker foot. We've evened up possession. We just got to do something with it. All right, here we go. Shane Flynn taking the corner. Swings it in. Williams couldn't get to it. Shipley. Goes on the counter. Lynn will track it down. Liam Kinsella. Back to Williams. Williams, great cross, but it goes to Morosi, so not so great. Try to play over the top, and again, it's blocks him. Williams get... They almost scored again. We stopped blocks him, and he just... Uh, they just touch it to the other guy. That's it's ridiculous. Woman comes out to play this one. A little dangerous. I am trying some different stuff in this game today, so and I'm playing some players that don't normally play, but that's still no excuse. Cause I've got to make some decisions on who I'm gonna keep and who I'm not. And uh, there's a lot of players we're probably not going to keep. Oh, my God. No, Halkins, what have you done? You dumbass. Keeper's running out for it, and he literally kicks it away from our own keeper. I've never seen... And the game is like, oh, you got to sign this dude. Keep signing this guy. He's amazing. And he's not. He's terrible. You give that up. Shane Flynn, he's alone. Shane Flynn's done well this season. There's blocks him again. O'Brien, oh, my God. Oh, it's offside, thankfully. All right, we got we to make some changes here. This is... Uh, We're going to go out here. We're going to go attacking. We're going to try to change this game now. Well, it was, our, it was our coaches too, which our coaches are not that good. The biggest overhaul I'm going to have to do off screen is the coaching staff and the scouting staff. Like, I'll probably replace the majority of them. Because we had to pick what was left this last season, and it was not good. Honestly, need to ask the uh, 
the board for another coach too. We need more coaches so we can develop these players better. I need to do that after this game. Two nil, 60 second minute. Let's see if we can get something going. Shane Flynn, we gave him a little bit more power this game now. He's going to dribble through. Pass it over to Micah Hamilton. Hamilton, he's got Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith's through, and that's a goal. All right. We're kind of back in this one, lads. Shane Flynn just taking control of it. Great pass there. And then Micah Hamilton, the through pass. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And Jaden Smith finally gets in the goals. Oh, he's got to feel good about that. Going for them. They're going deep. Lynn heads it away. Bennett. And Reed's going to pick that up. Reed trying to dribble out of trouble. Down the wing. Reed really running here. We've not seen him do this. Is he going to shoot? He's got a lot of guys. He's just got to go over. He hits Hawkins. Kyle Hawkins. Oh, my God. His first goal of the season, and we've tied it up to all. The equalizer from the center back. And here you all said the decision was made. I thought Reed had ran out of room. Hawkins just boom. A superb comeback. So the change of formation has really helped. So that's already going to solidify what we're moving to next year is four in the back. Uh, a mixture of midfielders and then probably some wingers and and I'm not sure what I'll do up top. I'll probably make one, a couple with two strikers up front and then an, or one with a stri two strikers up front and then one with like a couple with just one striker up front. Uh oh, here's Jaden Smith again. Oh! In the 70th minute, we've come back. Smith with a brace. Holy cow. Jaden Smith been storing the goals up all season. Goes silverback gorilla on himself. And they've got to be like, we have just dominated them here. Praise the team. I'm going to lower the tempo down just so we can conserve energy. Eighty third minute. Oh, my God. If we hold on for this, this is amazing. Of course, now that I've said that nurse with the throw in. Costa heads it over. Hartridge gets out of it. Kayla is there. Takes a pass. The Costa, it's over everything. All right, let's uh, let's time waste and slow the pace down. Ella Mullen, Hamilton. All Hawkins up to Jaden Smith. Smith, what a pass to Janelle Bennett. Bennett's in the box. Janelle, it's, it's tipped up and on top of the goal. We'll get a corner from that. Shane Flynn to take it. Janelle Bennett's got it, takes a shot. It goes out of everything. See, I know we've got some chain flins wore out. Bring Roshan in. All right, just a few minutes. 
There's five minutes of extra time. Good Lord. Morosi sends this deep. 91st minute. We can keep him from getting an equalizer here. Williams chases that down. Chilicoa Molin. Play that one forward. Trying to hit Michael Hamilton. He does. Hamilton pulls it back to Mullen. Mullen. Good footwork. Kyle Halkins. Back to Williams. Williams plays it up. Tries to hit Jaden Smith. Can't get it. Arthur Reed will get that, though. Go back to Halkins. Over the top. Trying to hit Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith working on his hat trick. He does not get it. He's denied by the keeper. A corner to come. Morosi stops it there. And we go into the 92nd minute. Janelle Bennett to take this one. I have no idea where all of our people are. This is not our... I bet the stupid... Uh, set pieces is not saved for this formation, is it? Nope. Of course it's not. <sighs> I need to remember to set that up on all the formations. It's a little late in the season for it to matter, but still. Another corner for us. We're doing a great job of wasting time. They didn't even show the corner. They're just like, screw it. Throw in here. Alex Hartridge should be the end of the game. They headed away. And that's it. We're going to take the win. Let's go. Tough fought comeback there. Jaden Smith put the team on his back. Everybody's happy. A game of two halves achievement. You won a competitive match after being two or more goals down at halftime. 58 points. What we got? We got what, three games left in the season. Sportsman Smith ends his goal drought. Praise his performance. Handshake. You're superb in front of goal. Good job. Two goals. Good job, Smith. Sir Francis Drake, FC captain Ben Goodliffe has heaped praise upon head coach Stephen Thomas after the team's thrilling 3-2 win over Shrewsbury Town. Goodliffe claimed it was Thomas's words at halftime that inspired the team to overturn the deficit and emerge victorious at the final whistle. Here's our, ooh. Our annual youth intake has arrived for assessment. We've got every reason to be excited by John King, who has the potential to be one of the most gifted players to come through the youth ranks. Well, it's the only players that have ever come through here. The youth candidates have been given trial contracts so you can evaluate which players you want to offer full. He's got like up to four and a half stars. Actually, these top three guys do. Oh, wow. His uh, physicals are not bad. He's not consistent, though. He needs to work on that. Good passing, good work rate. Natural fitness of 13. What do we got? Issa Giyasi. Uh, I don't think he's fast enough to play. He's not consistent. He's not strong. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Fuevan Farin. Ooh, flair of 16. He is slow as molasses, and he's injury-prone at the age of 16. Well, I guess there's just one person we've got to be happy about. So we'll see if he turns out to be anything, and we'll sign him for the under team. Uh, achievement unlocked, team performance. What is this? You had five players named to the team of the week. Really? Tottenham are yet to decide whether or not to accept the club's offer for Andy Apon. Tottenham delay the Owen decision. Well, fine. Uh, Jaden Smith, Micah Hamilton, Kirby, Sarula, and Jaycock all made the team of the week. They're holding out on us. Hey. They accepted this. Um, 
say future prospect. Put that 600K release clause on him. All right, Owen. Let's see if he'll take future. He'll do a two year. Okay, okay. Yeah, we get some of these youngsters on this squad. After watching the youth candidates play, I recommend we sign the following players to add quality to the squad and boost youth team numbers. Let the general manager do that. Oops. The Sir Francis Drake scholars announced. Okay, whatever they think. Um, playing time. Okay, let's get these people out here who need to play. Oh, Wizard Harry. All right, Exeter City is 18th. So I, and we need to look. Uh, we won this one 10 nil. Four goals for Miles Laburn, Smith with two, Miller with two, and a hat trick for Jalen Smith or Jaden Smith. Tyler Smith's that guy we tried. Uh, Alex Kovacevic is delighted to agree to terms with us. Excellent. So a goalkeeper on a one-year contract. He's definitely going to be a future prospect. comes in at the end. Put, what color do I want to put those signings? Put them in dark. He's coming in in 6923. Excellent. Look at it, everybody. I'm building a future. You should be proud of me. And we got 18th and 23rd. So two of our last three games are against teams toward the bottom. Burton Albion must be trying to survive. So they may come at us like a hornet's nest. We probably should have looked on the thing and see what other players are going to be released. I'd like to finish this season tonight so I can get to the off season. So. Tyler Smith. This dude's freaking amazing. I just don't know if we can afford him. Yeah. Nope. There's no way. I kind of thought that was going to happen.
Mari Miller's training really well. We got a lot, of, let's see, 21, 22, 13, and 1. Yeah, so a lot of things coming out. Drake's home advantage gives us the uh, advantage. Let's try to knock out these last three games of the season and then see kind of where we stand. Not to bring it into the stream. It's been going for almost five hours now. Lembakisa. Unfortunately, Ismail Ulad Mahan's deal has been put on hold after the initial application for a work permit was declined. He's done all of his training here. He's almost homegrown. That makes no sense whatsoever. We'll appeal it. What do they they tell us no? All right, center back, India Pan. To bring him in. 17K a year. He is also a future prospect. He's really good at both feet as well. And he'll start on 6'9", 23 as well. Excellent. <clears throat> More future. Yay. Let me double check the schedule just to make sure. Yeah, Exeter, Burton, and then Ipswich is four. So Ipswich may be playing for a really big um, playoff spot. Yeah. They could be playing, actually... I don't think they can kick. Well, two games left. That's six points. Nope. They, they'll they be playing for a higher playoff spot, so we could ruin their day on that. I'll let Coleman start this game. They're in decent form. We're in inconsistent. Though in the last five, we played a little bit better than them. Though they have won three in a row. So I guess it goes more from what's just happened. After this game, you all need to remind me to ask for another coach. And uh, maybe try if maybe ask to go on a coaching course. Uh, Brown and Stansfield up front. Jay, Harper, Sparks, Collins, and Caprice in midfield. Uh, Robinson, Pierce Sweeney, and Sam Stubbs. Blackman in goal for Exeter City. They're in the red kits with the uh, white and red stripes at the bottom. The Indiana look. We're in our classic green and blue as we reverse fields already and turn the ball over. Tom White has already picked up a slight injury. That's awful early in the game.
coaches and a coaching course. I also need to put the thing in all formations. Uh oh. Oh, Miles Laburn. Oh, it's not going to be allowed. I'm not sure how. I thought they touched it first. Oh, looks like he knocked it in there with his hands. He's just trying to play a little game of volleyball. Get the crowd all fired up here. All 6,700 of them here at Jack White Stadium. Good lift up to Kirby. Kirby, great pass to Miles Laburn. He'll go back to Miller. Amari Miller looking around. Pops it up, tries to find Nick Freeman. Couldn't do it, but Laburn's there. Laburn kicks it. It's off the goalkeeper. An Exeter on the counter. Trying to come back. No cut the highlight short. Collins pushes the ball up. Brown, Stansfield, Harper, who's got a little injury, pushes in, takes a shot to the moon. Silla plays this up, tries to hit Miles Laburn. They'll get it back. Jay up to Stansfield. Oh, Mullen cuts that off. Good lift over to Flynn. Flynn to Kirby. Inya Kirby plays it forward to Amari Miller. Amari Miller looking, looking. Goes back to Flynn. Shane Flynn. Going to cross this one in. He's got Freeman there. Freeman heads it. It's over everything. Sella looking here. Over the top. Miles Laburn trying to get there. Miles Laburn gets to it. He takes the shot. Oh my God. Luckily, Roberts had put his body in. The keeper was totally out of position. We'll get the corner here. Shane Flynn sends it in. It's headed away. And we'll head it away again. It's been the highlight. You know, our lads to kind of do something. We're just kind of piddling around here. We got six shots on goal, or six shots, only two on goal. Um, but I'd like to see a little bit more. I just cramped my leg up trying to get my chair closer. Referee Sam Perkis. What a name. At least he's consistent, though. I'm going to demand more for them. They can get pissed at me. Shane Flynn going to lead the attack here. Pulls it up. Pulls it back. Oh, Harper injured and all. Comes at him. And Harper takes it away again for him to be injured. He's playing awful good. Stansfield comes into the box. Oh, he's took down by good lift. That's got to be a penalty, isn't it? Referee running up to him, having a talk. Ben Goodlift gets a yellow. And they will get a penalty kick. And Coleman lets it go in. Exeter City goes up. And we just suck. I mean, we survived relegation this year, but other than that, we're just not good. We are so inconsistent. Hey, Dark Wolf. Um... We survived relegation. We're in the last three games of the season. So we did achieve our goal of survival. But as for putting any type of attack on that made us like finish upper table, it just didn't happen. We're just we're we're ending the season as inconsistent as we started it. King Flynn. All right, we relaxed him. So we're staying up. We're just going to have to, in the offseason, really rebuild 
and get some players that improve on who we signed this time around. Which remember, we started with gray players, so we based our signings off of Jaden Smith and went from him. So it's not the highest quality team we could have put together. But it had we had to start somewhere. Because when you do a create a team, uh, even in the editor, you still start with the uh, the grayed out players that have, you know, that anybody you look at looks like five stars compared to them. Big shot there. Kirby goes over the crossbar. I, I, I really need to sign. I need to extend Amari Miller. Uh, Janelle Bennett. And... Um, Well, those are the two. They're, they're, they're young, they're 19 and 20, and their contract runs out next year, but I think I need to get them on an extension so we have them for a while. I just don't know who else I'd want to sign for a while. I feel like we're all over the place. Sixty second minute. Exeter's uh it's it's pretty even, but they've only had two shots on goal, but unfortunately the one was the penalty. And that's been the difference in the game. We just really haven't pushed. Nick Freeman may push here. He's got to move. He'll curve it in, but it goes straight to their keeper. We're going to demand more again. Let's see if Kirby can get something started here. He's going to hit Freeman down the side again. Freeman goes over to Miles Laburn. Miles Laburn, great first touch, takes a shot. Oh, and Blackman mishandles it. And Miles Laburn gets his 26th goal of the season, and it equalizes it here in the 63rd minute. Oh man, Butterfingers in the rain. Laburn, good first touch. Oh, it went, it deflected off of Sweeney. So Blackman, oh, has to be upset about that. I don't know why Flynn is so apprehensive. Makes no sense. Like, why? What is, is it your attitude? No, his personality is balanced. I don't know why he's apprehensive. Throwing for Flynn. Freeman, back to Flynn. He's going to go deep. Priest clears it out. India Kirby cuts it off. Comes back into the box. Kirby pops it. Oh, he missed everything. He had the keeper full, but he couldn't get it in. All right, let's make some changes here at the end and try to win this game. Let's bring in Jaden Smith. Who's playing bad? Kinsella's playing rough. I'll bring Nick over there. We'll try that out. All right. They seemed inspired and ready to go. That's exactly how I wrote that up. Of course, it starts with a highlight of them. 76 minute. Exeter. Owen will cut that off. Good lift. Robinson. Matt Robinson plays it up to Smith. Jaden Smith. Fresh legs in there. Here's Nick Cerula. He's playing on the other side. He's not really used to that, but he should be okay. Plays it forward to Nick Freeman. Nick Freeman looking to swing it across. He does. It's deflected, though. And Diabetes gets a hold of it. Robinson goes back to Blackman. One all here in the 77th minute. We'll go up to Stubbs. Diabetes will play that one forward. Mari Miller trying to hit Jaden Smith. He's in the box. Smith takes the shot. Blackman with the save. Corner to follow. Jalokoa Mullins there, and it's headed away, unfortunately. Jay out in front on the counterattack. 
Moving over to Brown, that ends the highlight. Gonna go attacking the last 10 minutes here. Reese throw in for them. Exeter. Gives the ball up. Inya Kirby. Up to Robinson. He'll go back to Mullen. Mullen looking for some room. Switch is filled. Sarula. Plays the ball up to Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith back to Freeman. Freeman looking. Freeman sends it back over. Amari Miller ends up with it. Takes the shot. He misses everything. Oh, it was such a good effort. He just couldn't keep it down. They're so tired. Do two more changes here at the end. Just try to get some fresh legs here. Go demand more. They'll get mad at me. Free kick. Can Shane Flynn win it? Sends it in. Blackman with the save. Five minutes of extra time. Hawkins over to Roshan Williams, back to Hawkins. He'll play it up to Kirby. Maybe one last chance. Trying to go over the top. Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith in the box. Jaden Smith around the keeper. Takes the shot. Diabetes sends it out. We'll get a corner. It looked like a handball there. The ref doesn't call anything. And it definitely will be a corner. Freeman to take this. Oh. Okay, we're going to show it now. Swings it in, and Blackman punches it away. Caprice ends up with it. Tries to play downfield. Nick Cerula ends up with it. Nick comes down, plays it over the top again, trying to hit Smith. Smith sends it in, misses everything. What are you all doing? We've had every chance to win this game here at the end and blew it. And that's going to be it. It's going to end in a one-all draw with Exeter. We'll take a point, probably still stay mid-table, not moving anything. We'll set right at 14th, 59 points. They uh, move a little bit out of the relegation zone with that point. Bolton and Wickham may be the only two that change in the last two games. There's still an ox. Tom White is injured. Oh, he's out for three, so he's out for the rest of the season. Goodliffe has been suspended. He's going to get fined. Everything is fine. It's fine. It's fine. So Burton Albion has... Uh, so Accrington Stanley, Burton Albion, and Chettenham have all been relegated. The only other two teams that are in the danger zone are Bolton and Wickham. Uh, technically, Exeter and MK Dons, because if Wickham wins their last two games, that'd give them 50 points, and they could jump up. Um, but it's a very steep effort for that. Um, let's move to the, uh, we'll go four, one, two, two, one in this lap, this game coming up. All right. Ryan Owen here, future prospect left wing. 